Wow. Uh, just wow. Um, so I'm back in East Lansing, Michigan from the trip last week to New Orleans, which was amazing and epic. And Ben Scragg and Angela Gunder and Anne Musgrove and Stephen Crawford. So many uh, volunteers who just spent time uh, in the Innovation Lab at OLC's Innovate Conference this year in New Orleans. And it was fun to experience um, some of the things that I anticipated might happen in terms of the organic connections being made between people, between sessions. It just seemed like those those best parts of a conference were kind of amplified in this space that was the Innovation Lab this year. We learned a lot. We're excited to iterate upon what we learned for the next time, and we have so much to reflect on, and we're going to be doing an episode pretty soon here of us reflecting further on the experience um, after we've had a little more time to to digest and and absorb kind of all that happened. Um, and I, I mentioned last week that I would be recording every day, which I did, but I didn't get a chance to put up an official episode each day last week just because of all the busy, busyness of what was going on. But I do want to encourage you to check out some of the the unedited reflections that took place in the Padcaster booth in the Innovation Lab last week. Some really good stuff there to hear uh, people reflect contextually right at the conference. And again, none of those videos are edited at all. It's just uh, pure reflections of people pontificating upon questions such as why are you here at OLC Innovate and what has challenged your thinking uh, at this conference so far. I did want to share a reflection from Felice Banner on her session just because it was so exciting to see her after her session just kind of glowing with um, excitement about how our session went. So I had to ask her what happened at your session because so many of us were um, spending almost the entire time in the innovation lab, we didn't get a chance to get to so many of the amazing sessions. One of the things I'd like to do um, in this podcast is to connect with some people who I heard just had phenomenal sessions and, and ask them about them and, and hear about what happened in those spaces so that we can continue the learning, continue the conversations going forward. So this is just that, where I had a chance to ask Felice what happened in her session where she was gamifying instructional design. Check it out. My session was called The Gamification of Instructional Design, and a while back I found uh, found these cards, these playing cards called Learning Battle Cards. They come from a group called XY Learning in Poland, and they were looking for a holistic approach to, uh, to gamifying instructional design. They call it a, an ecosystem. So I, I'm excited. They're playing cards. I love to play. You know, how do we gamify anything? And so bought the cards and then started exploring what these cards are. And every card has, um, you know, has a um, maybe it's it says microblogging or it says interview or something like that. And it's to spark ideas. So thinking about how does this work in higher education? How does it work in instructional design for learning? So in my session, I bring my learning battle cards <laughs> and a small session and folks are all gathered around and we play three games. The first game was find a card that uh, resonates with you related to social presence. People People just grabbed through the cards and they picked out a card and why right and so um, it's microblogging social presence because then you know we're connecting we're using um, you know whether we have our Twitter community we have our Facebook community however we want to qualify mm -hmm. microblogging so folks are doing that and then the second game which was fantastic five cards out to everyone just five random cards you're in a group of three one person's a realist two people are the idealists or the innovators and you have to come up with some learning yes. learning event or learning solution based on these five cards and so as folks are looking through these five cards that have these you know these instructional design solutions on it the realist is saying well where are you going to get the money to do that right how are you going to fund it where are you going to store 
that? You know, yes. how, who's your audience, right? Who's the fact, where are you going to get a faculty member? How are you going to get pay the yes. faculty member? All of those things. And so it still becomes this whole creative process in coming up with an answer. So here in the, you know, in the innovation lab, we're talking about that, that design, ideate, and then get to the prototype and test. Man, we were prototyping and testing. We, they, <laughs> these folks, this group came up with just such imaginative and creative solutions that they actually could do or could use. And then the last one was, the last game we played was two random cards. Can you do it at your institution or can't you and why or why not? And so people were just, oh, um, feedback. Ew. We, we, we need to do feedback. And, you know, it just it makes people think. So why I love these cards in the instructional design process mm -hmm. is it makes us go outside of ourselves. When you're yeah. holding on to something and you're looking at something and this is sort of, you know, the platform you're operating from, it's, it's away from me and it's away from any instructional design framework, mm -hmm. any, you know, any theory, any practice. We're making things up because we've been handed these cards. And I love them. And it was just such a great session because I got so, you know, so excited about the power of gamifying my work, right? Yeah, it's not yeah, gamifying yeah. a course. That's not what this is about. Right, this right. is about gamifying my work and bringing play back into this, into the into the work we do. So thanks, Dave. So it sounds like it went well. It went really well. And I've heard of these cards before. I was intrigued. They were a little expensive. They, they But... Um, if someone were to want to get those cards, where would they find them? So um, it's learningbattlecards.com, and there's a store.learningbattlecards.com. And uh, the the guys there, the developers, they understand that higher education or education licensing, the pricing should be different. They're working on a model for that. But they did give us a code for 15% um, off the cards if you want to buy them. And I think it's hashtag LBNOC. LB, LBNOC. NOC. Yeah, so Learning Battle, LBC NOC. Learning Battle Cards NOC. Sounds like an amazing experience. It was. Thank you. Thank you. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, gamifying instructional design with Felice Banner. Stay tuned for some more episodes coming up soon, and be sure to subscribe to this podcast on iTunes, which is going to become available in the very near future. More news on that soon. If you want to reach out and have a conversation on reflecting around the OLC Innovate experience, please reach out to me. You can email me directly at uh, DaveG at MSU.edu. That's Dave. Dave G at msu.edu. And again, I'm Dave Goodrich. We'll see you guys again sometime very soon here.